What's up guys, Lady Meg here with more of my Dragon Age Inquisition Nightmare Guide. And this video we're going to be doing Solus's uh, loyalty mission and do also Dorian's. Um, Dorian's is really simple, it's just a dialogue based mission. Um, neither of the missions are difficult, I'm just putting them in for story purposes since I'm romancing Solus and... Dorian's my bestie. So yeah, we'll do we'll also do Cassandra's, uh, Sarah's, because that's really easy. We'll do Iron Bowls. Um, I almost never get Blackwall's uh, mission just because I don't like him, so I never actually get his approval up. Not that I actively um, try and piss him off, I just like don't go out of my way to talk to him. So I usually never get that, but if I get it, then we'll do that too. And we'll do Varex, of course, because that one's also easy. Get away from me. You mean wolves. Oh, I didn't mention before, but we are in the Exalted Plains. Um, that's where Solus's loyalty mission takes place, and right here. Um, yeah, I mean, the best thing to do is just walk straight from the main camp that you spawn at until you're able to take this path that I was on left. It's pretty easy to find. It's near where the Dalish elves dwell, if you know where that is. And technically, we could just follow this path. I think there's dialogue if we do. Thank you for this, Inquisitor. We are not far from where my friend was summoned. <laughs> One of the mages. Killed by arrows, it would seem. Look at how the arrow's positioned. He was shot while running. I'd guess bandits. Not these ones, though. I got burned it up. Die, Wolfie. You all dead? Okay, good. My friend. Solus, you said your friend was a wisdom spirit. That is not its natural form. It's been corrupted. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you disapprove. Forced to act against its original purpose. Do what did they do? So angry. Perhaps we should ask. A mage. You're not with the bandits. Do you have any lyrium potions? Most of us are exhausted. We've been fighting that demon. You summoned that demon. Except it was a spirit of wisdom at the time. You made it kill. You twisted it against its purpose. I, I, I understand how it might be confusing to someone who has not studied demons, but after you help us, I can... We are not here to help you. Word of advice. I'd hold off on explaining how demons work to my friend here. Listen to me. I was one of the foremost experts in the Kirkwall Cir... Shut up. You summoned it to protect you from the bandits. I... 
Yes. You bound it to obedience, then commanded it to kill. That is when it turned. The summoning circle. We break it, we break the binding. No orders to kill, no conflict with its nature, no demon. What? The binding is the only thing keeping the demon from killing us. Whatever it was before, it is a monster now. Inquisitor, please! I'll do everything I can to save your friend, Solas. Thank you. We must hurry! So this mission is actually a lot easier if you do it Solus's way versus trying to kill the demon. It's not necessarily easier. It's e Ugh. Fuck, I can never talk. It's not necessarily easier. It's just quicker. Which technically means easier in my opinion. <laughs> Holy fuck, these, these loading screens sometimes just drive me absolutely nuts in this game. Yeah, if you're playing on an easier difficulty, you're gonna wanna like have your team wait behind you or they'll take that demon out on um, on their own. They will go after what you're shooting at, but in the process of you like switching targets, they take them out. Pick me up, Solus. No, don't don't shoot the demon. Demon's got lots of health, we should be okay. No risk of accidental demon killing. Okay, we need to get our peeps up now, though. Simple enough. Tell Avalos and Azel at Ali. Mami lava lani. Mala Suladina does. Magilani me the nan. Manu Vinit. Dareth Shira. I heard what it said. It was right. You did help it. No. I must endure. Let me know if I can help. You already have. All that remains now is them. Thank you. We would not have risked the summoning, but the roads are too dangerous to travel unprotected. You! Tortured and killed my friend. We didn't know it was just the spirit. The, the book said it could help us. Ah, uh, all right, go ahead. Seek your revenge if it makes you fucking feel better. Damn them all. I need some time alone. I will meet you back at Skyhold. Sure thing, baby. Inquisitor. Guess I owe well, this feels aim. slightly out of I place. Wasn't sure you were coming back. <laughs> Neither was I for a time, but only a short time. You were a true friend. You did everything you could to help. I could hardly abandon you now. Where did you go? I found a quiet spot and went to sleep. I visited the place in the Fade where my friend used to be. It's empty, but there are stirrings of energy in the void. Someday something new may grow there. What happens when a spirit dies? It isn't the same for mortals. The energy of spirits returns to the fate. If the idea giving the spirit form is strong, or if the memory has shaped other spirits, it may someday rise again. You're saying your friend might come back? No, not really. 
The spirit's natural state is peaceful semi-existence. It is rare to be able to reflect reality. Something similar may reform one day, but it might have a different personality. It would likely not remember me. It would not be the friend I knew. The next time you have to mourn, you don't need to be alone. It's been so long since I could trust someone. I know. I'll work on it. And thank you. <laughs> what were you like? Before the anchor? Has it affected you? Changed you in any way? Your mind? Your morals? Your... Spirit? I don't believe so. Ah. Why do you ask? You show a wisdom I have not seen since... Since my deepest journeys into the ancient memories of the Fade. You are not what I expected. What have I done that's so surprising? You have shown subtlety in your actions. A wisdom that goes against everything I expected. If the Dalish could raise someone with a spirit like yours, have I misjudged them? Not really. Most of the Dalish care more about impressing other hunters with a good shot or talking about how awful humans are. There are only a few who seem to care about the old ways. Perhaps that is it. I suppose it must be. Most people act with so little understanding of the world, but not you. So what does this mean, Solus? It means I have not forgotten the kiss. <laughs> Let it go, it's so mean. Good. Don't go. It would be kinder in the long run. But losing you would... Arlathmavanan. What does that mean? I know what the last part means, but... Yeah, I'm not a cool nerd and I don't I don't speak Dragon Age Elvish. Elfish? Elvish? It's Elvish, yeah. Uh-oh. Nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. The whole story about the family retainer was just, what, a smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? This is how it has always been. You went through all of this to get Dorian here. Talk to him. Yes, father. Talk to me. Let me hear how mystified you are by my anger. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. So that's what all of this is about? Who you sleep with? That's not all it's about. Dorian, please, if you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you? Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. You got a lot off your chest. Can't you give him a chance? Ah, to do shit. 
I'm like trying to pick different Tell toises and it's pissing people if off. I knew I would drive you to the Inquisition. <clears throat> you didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me. A trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me. Yay! Even though I fucked up, Doran, you're still gonna be my friend. Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is present for betraying his own constituents. He confesses that, ten years ago, he flooded Old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the Blight. The mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word. If the mayor has anything to say in his defense, let him speak. There's no cure for the Blight! But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood? Were no innocents caught in the waters? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight, I swear it! I don't believe you. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drown their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. What should I do? I guess I'll exile him. You lied for ten years about your crime, then fled after confessing your guilt. For avoiding justice, you are exiled from Ferelden. I doubt the Crown will disagree. I knew your coming meant the end. One way or another. Well, you're not dying. I thought I seriously considered killing you just now. So you should be fucking grateful. <laughs> 